We have reached a big milestone in our countdown to the total solar eclipse. The day that many in our region have been waiting years for is now only 30 days away. Yeah, 30 days. We've been talking about this for so long. <laughs> it better be good. Well, Western New York will experience just about three minutes of darkness on April 8th. The city of Buffalo leaders tell us tonight the event's impact will likely stretch far beyond that. Western New York seems to be a hot spot for people hoping to catch a glimpse of history. Some areas expecting hundreds of thousands of people including Niagara Falls, named by National Geographic as the best place in the world to see this eclipse. And that's where I'm going to be. But tonight, we are highlighting voices in charge of getting the Queen City ready for the event. Our Krista Moran gathering perspective from within City Hall, the police and fire departments, and safety experts as well. Preparation is key. That's the message tonight from City of Buffalo leaders ahead of the solar eclipse in one month. We are urging residents to plan ahead and take necessary precautions. Mayor Byron Brown says we could see anywhere between half a million to one million people in the Buffalo area. Going to a grocery store, picking up a prescription, or going to the gas station might be difficult on the day of the eclipse. So do these things in advance. We urge everyone to be very, very patient. Police Commissioner Joseph Grimalia says they've been planning for months. There will be additional staffing along with six brand new UTVs to navigate traffic and respond to emergencies. You have to, and I hate to say this, you got to plan for the worst, hope for the best, but that hoping for the best doesn't mean that we're not staged up, staffed up. Um, we're going to move our people around. We're going to have specialized units in. Parking. Buffalo Fire Commissioner Parking. William Parking. Ronaldo Parking. says the department will also be utilizing UTVs. Our major focus is going to be on freedom of movement, uh, being able to get uh, where we need to go, when we need to get there. Experts are also urging that you have your ISO certified eclipse glasses handy. There is no safe viewing of the sun with the naked eye. So here's what that eclipse timeline will look like. The partial eclipse will begin at 204. Totality begins at 318, lasting three minutes and 46 seconds. And the partial eclipse ends at 432. So overall, this eclipse will last around two and a half hours. It's going to be otherworldly in some ways. It will be a wonder. Uh, it should be fun, uh, but it is better to plan. Krista Brand, 7 News, Buffalo. All right, so if you are still looking for a good spot to watch the eclipse, we have put together a full list of locations to witness the big event. We included places from all eight counties in western New York, and you'll find it right now on our website, wkbw.com.